Two news events that have people on edge are the pandemic and the killing of George Floyd. Well, those two issues recently combined to cost a St. Bernard school bus driver her job. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein explains in this exclusive report. Like I get chills right now. It hurt me. It hurt me. Rose Gabriel's 11 year old son Rashad is usually carefree and chatty when she meets him after his bus ride home from school. But one day earlier this month, Rashad was unusually quiet. Ma, um, the bus driver said something to me that was racist. The sixth grader told his mom that the bus driver scolded him after his face mask slipped below his nose. He told his mom he was out of breath after running to catch the bus. Gabriel recounted what the driver said. Since George Floyd, that's what y'all all say, but I don't see a knee on your neck. I'm like, are you sure she said that? He said, yeah, all the kids on the bus heard it. Not only did other kids hear the George Floyd comment, but it was recorded on the bus's onboard camera. I just started crying. I just started crying because she, excuse me, she tried to make my son feel like he is not supposed to be where he was. And, you know, just don't make, don't, don't, don't make him feel inferior. He, he's not inferior to nothing. He's just as equal as any one of those students on that bus. After keeping her son off the bus for a day, Gabriel reported the driver's comments. The driver admitted what she said, and the matter quickly reached the desk of longtime school superintendent Doris Vautier. Vautier took swift action. The employee is now out of a job. The superintendent could not reveal whether the driver was fired or resigned because it's a personnel matter, but she did have some strong things to say. In a telephone interview, Vautier said, quote, she no longer works for our school system. I can't defend that. I don't condone that. What she said is offensive and inappropriate. It was racially insensitive, and we took appropriate action. I know for sure it made me relieved that I know that she's no longer going to bust with my son or any other you know, by this child. With the controversy now in the rearview mirror, Rose Gabriel said she can concentrate on something less stressful, making her son the happy student he was before. Mike Pearlstein, Eyewitness News. And Votier said she was especially sensitive to the matter because the Chauvin trial was in full swing whenever the driver made that offensive comment.